Well, support for the Weir family has been pouring in since late March when a crash east of Great Falls took the lives of 35 year old father Tyler and his 10 year old son Wyatt. Mother Jen and children Weston and Wakely continue to recover. MTN's Cassandra Soto takes a look at how the community is pulling together, rallying around the family. Lord, it is not about what we receive. Rather, it is about giving what we have. On May 8th, the Weir Family Warriors invited all of Central Montana to come out to enjoy a family environment to raise funds to help the surviving members of the Weir family. It was way bigger than what I had originally anticipated being. Um, and it was just, I don't know, in, infectious might be the right word. Um, just as the, the live auction was going, um, people were just crazy bidding on things. Everybody was, you know, willing to step up and support Jen, not only financially, but also just emotionally knowing that we're behind you, we got your back. With the combination of food vendor, t-shirt, petting zoo, and live and silent auction sales, the effort was able to raise over $125,000 in one afternoon. A feat that garnered this reaction from Jennifer Weir, saying, quote, It's overwhelming and humbling to be on the receiving end of this amazing kindness and generosity. I'm so grateful to those who worked hard to put it on and those who dug deep in their pockets to help my family. I'm reminded once again that Montana always takes care of its own. A sentiment that We Are Warriors coordinator Megan Green agrees with wholeheartedly. Central Montana really came out in droves. You know, it wasn't just locals, but there were, you know, just people from all over were willing to come and support. Um, and it was just um, kind of a, a goosebump gave you the goosebumps feeling of just the generosity of people that reminding that there is there is still good in this world that there are still good people in great falls cassandra soto mtn news